So I've got I've got a new strategy. Because what I was doing just wasn't working. So let me see, do I have I do have a firekeeper soul. Okay. So I looked at a bunch of other Armor of Thorns only runs on YouTube. And I've only found one that didn't include the caveat except for kings. And the way that guy survived the fight was he got infinite healing by soul duping. Or not soul duping. Firekeeper soul duping. To heal himself throughout the boss fight. <clears throat> so that's a strat that we're going to adopt. It's the best we've got going for us, presently. Um, the thing is, my character's female, so I need a weapon in my hand. So I can two-hand in order to do the dupe. Okay, so so that's why so that's why I've got the controller display up to show that I'm not sneaking in hits with the weapon. I mean, even though it's a fucking talisman, then it probably does less damage than the armor does. <clears throat> I just don't want anybody calling shenanigans. Also, yes, my controller display input is an Xbox One controller. Because I'm using an Xbox One controller. Because this garbage port refuses to recognize the existence of my DualShock 1, so... Here we are. So... I don't like the idea of endlessly duping, but if that's the only way we're going to get through this, then that's the only way we're going to get through this. Didn't even notice until I said something. Well, what the fuck do I even put the display or input display up there for if nobody looks at it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. By the way, do you guys like that? Should I, should I like keep it up there on the reg or do you think it's something special I should, I should only whip out for like speed runs? I think that's something special I'm only going to whip out for speedruns. Or for occasions like this where I'm trying to prove I'm not, you know, sneaking in R1s or R2s. Well, I guess in this case, R2s. Because all an R1 is going to do is... is going to make my character be like, Huh? What the fuck is this? Huh? But, you know, there is an R2, which is actually a melee attack, so... <clears throat> Speedruns? Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> oh, also, since duping is risky business. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to make a save state here. Just in case we accidentally eat the Firekeeper soul.
You know, that way we can restore it if shit goes sideways, because there are only a set number of them available per playthrough. So if we wind up fucking up, you know, that's rip. That's GG. Okay, let's see how this goes. That would be great if I accidentally eat it and that's GG. Unfortunately, we've got a save state for that now. See, that right there, that's the issue. The problem is the other kings popping up. <laughs> like, one king we could handle, no problem. But the problem is the other kings pop up and they don't mind their own fucking business. Also this. <laughs> I've already accepted that we're going to have four kings for the majority of the fight. And there's pr and there's pretty much always going to be magic flying somewhere. That's just that's just the way things are going to be. Shit. See we're already at 3. And now we're at four. The fuckery truly begins. Yep, see? There's magic. And there's magic. And there's magic! Hey, Butterscotch. Fucking try hard. Not you, Butterscotch, the kings. Welcome back, Butterscotch. Oh god. Yep, the the fuckery continues. Thorn only? Yes, sir. God damn it. See what I mean? I I need to accept that there's there's just always going to be magic somewhere. Let's see if I can do it. Fuck. Oh good, hello. Yeah, Lobos did this run, but he skipped the four kings. I won't. I don't care. How long it takes. Oh, God. Shit. Didn't know that that guy was right there. Okay. Alright, I need to... I need some freedom of movement.
Okay. That took all my stamina. You'll be here to cheer me on? Thank you. I'm gonna need it. Nope, I'm not gonna get that. F. Wow, I actually managed... I think I'm up against a wall. Yeah. Shit. There we go. This is nuts, but it's weird to do the kings try to stay out of your sight. I don't think they do, no. Oh, fuck me. The memes. Shit. I almost got that off. There we go. You dickhole. Hey, Shio. How are you tonight, friend? What? That hit me that far? Shit, not gonna get it. No. I have to go for it here. Okay. Lurkin playing D&D. &D. Nice. Alright, I have to actually start, like, damaging these fucks if I want to have a chance. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, <sighs> oof. Would I say that Thorn is more tedious than Fist Only? I don't know, I've never tried Fist Only. But it, it depends. If you're doing straight up Fist Only, then... <clears throat> then I would say th uh, Fists would probably be more tedious. But if you're doing a, uh, if you're doing a fist-only run where, where you tumble buff your fist, using the tumble buff glitch, then I would say definitely thorns. Because if you use that glitch, you can actually get decent damage out of your fist. You know, with something like Dark Moon Blade or something to that effect. You can tumble buff your fists? Yep. That's how Lobos did his fist-only run. Chef, tumble buffing is another menu queuing glitch where you can buff weapons that were never intended to be buffed. Like with Sunlight Blade or Dark Moon Blade or something like that. So you could like put Dark Moon Blade on the Dragon Tooth or something fucking ridiculous like that. Or in the case of the Lobos Fist only run, I think he used Crystal Magic Weapon to buff his fist. Saw someone do a Dark Souls 3 run where they fire res into fire weapon and it did hysterical damage. Nice. That's a good description. Hysterical damage. It's right up there with ludicrous speed.
<clears throat> also lightning resonant. It's so cool to see a fire, to see a weapon proc fire and lightning effects on hit. Jesus. Ugh, check the number of steps. The steps in here. Why? Or are you talking about something else? Metaphorical steps. Metaphorical steps of what? Oh, nice stored roll. Thank you. Off to a promising start already. Excuse you. Oh, hello. God damn it. Oh, 738 rolls to kill kings. Cool. You bitch. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Bruh! Stop your shit! Only 738? You thought it would be more, to be honest? I'm glad it's not more. Shit. 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 Oh, good. Fuck. Fuck. See, that's the biggest problem is when I get stun-locked by their combos. Shit, I almost fucked up there. Damn it. Yeah, honestly, I expected 738 to be... I expected it to be a lot worse than 738, if I'm being honest. Guy is a massive M. I don't know what that means. Butterscotch, you're talking about K dub, aren't you? Because I'm pretty sure he did that, but also no hit. Oh, Ptolemyo. I've heard of Ptolemyo, but I haven't watched a lot. There are just so many soul streamers. I need to check them. I need to check more of them out, I think. Even though my follow list is like half soul streamers at this point, I think. 
That's how you and Lazy know each other? Nice. Blur. M is masochist. Ah, gotcha. Chef, I'm sorry your internet's being a butt. I'm guessing I don't have quality options today, then. Till hasn't been doing a lot of Souls runs of late. I think he got burnt out. He did a lot on Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. Oh. Okay. Well, this works, I guess. Sadly, no. Oof. You fucking mamer. Oh my god. If you say something way past when it's relevant, now I know why. That's alright. You might just have to remind me what it is I even said. I just kind of say things. Someone want to count rolls for me? <laughs> That's gonna be like 30, right? D really? Twice in a row? Oh, fuck off, dude. Piece of shit. Tried to dodge through them. Did not work. Fuck. No! Try to count rolls, but your internet is garbage. Sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah, I'm just saying fuck trying to kill individual kings. Just getting my licks in where I can. Because even if I do somehow manage to kill one king, another one's just going to spawn in. What I need to do is get one isolated. Like this one over here. Get a couple rolls in. Try to keep my eye on the other ones. Fuck it, I'm at- fuck it, we're- we're fucked. We gotta get out of here. We're screwed. Okay, that's an invisible wall. Couple of drive-by rolls here. Ow. It was four. If you're talking about blood level, then yeah. BL4 is the lowest you can go in Bloodborne. Oh, in DS3. No, DS3 you can do soul level 1. I forget which class starts at 1 in DS3. Is it still the Pyromancer? Pyromancer? 
Uh, I rolled, but okay. Well, well, that's all just crap. I, I'm up against an invisible wall, I think. Yep. Alright, I need to... I need to... Fuck. You piece of shit. God damn it, the same way I died last time. Fuck. I think I need to just start assuming that there's always magic in the air somewhere. I think that's just an assumption I need to make. There's actually an article on the on game spot. Wrote about him for beating Dark Souls 3. For beating the game. No roll, block, or parry. I think Deck's doing the same thing, too. You have an idea, Chef? What's your idea? He also did it naked. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty typical. <laughs> So often when you see challenge runners, they're always naked. In-game and IRL as well. It's like Hob, I have I have no doubt he's gonna beat the god run, but he's probably gonna be naked except for the pants he's wearing on his head when he does it. Same with Squilla. You won't be able to see the pants because Squilla doesn't use cam, but They'll be there. Thank you. Oh my god. Chef, thank you for the 1500 bits. Are you trying to... I'm not sure what you're are you are you trying to cheer me into having quality options? Is that what's happening? <laughs> he was so close a few days ago. King, was that the uh the day of the the fabled uh the Vanguard hit which shall live in infamy with Nashandra? Possibly, but also this run is a pain in the ass, and even if it doesn't work, you deserve several beers. Thank you. I will buy all of the beers. Thank you for the bitch, Chef. I don't deserve you guys. Y'all are the best. Blah. Oh. Good job, self. I guess I can just take this other shit off my belt. Pay-per-view Dark Souls and other marvels of modern technology. <laughs> Hey man, Twitch has only got so many resources available to them. It can't give everybody quality options.
That's why with affiliates, it's first come, first served. Oh yeah, I'm getting grabbed by this. I mean, I probably don't have quality options because I started late. <laughs> like yesterday, I started at 3 p.m. And I did have quality options. They should give me quality options because I'm doing the Lord's work, the Lord of Cinder, that is. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, Twitch is a business. <laughs> and me sitting here doing the Lord's work isn't exactly generating them a whole lot of revenue. Sadly. So it would make sense that they would prioritize, you know, people like partners who are making them a lot of revenue. And then for affiliates and non-affiliated streamers, it's, it's a nice thing to have. I'm up against an invisible wall. I mean, I think at the very least, affiliates are prioritized over non-affiliated streamers. I think. I read that. So we've got that going for us. Oh, fucking hell. Damn it, you piece of shit. It's not like they're totally owned by one of the biggest companies to ever exist that could invest more into having servers. That's true, but even if they were to invest more into having servers, there are only so many servers available. Nope. Like, there's a fixed number of servers in the world. Amazon can't buy them all. Think your internet is done being a butt? See, money fixes everything, Kappa. It fixes more than people give it credit for. Like, people say money can't buy happiness, but... It can sure rent it for a long time. Alright, let... I was gonna see, let me see if I can get some hits in, but... That's not happening. See? What's this guy over here doing? Okay. I rolled that, but okay. Rolled that too, but all right. Oh, fuck off, dude. <laughs> okay. Bruh, get off my dick. Fucking magic. I hate it so much. Okay. 
Dude, fuck off. <laughs> Okay, this if that guy's okay, he rejoined the pack. This guy's alone, and of course he's gonna cast magic. Oh, so I just roll right into it. Cool. Good job, self. Fuck. Fuck. I was up against an invisible wall again. Fuck, man. <sighs> if you want to minimize magic damage, you could use the crest shield and use it in your left hand, and keep the grass crest in your right for the stamina. Yeah, but but then I would have to upgrade my endurance so I wouldn't be mid-rolling. Which, I mean, I could just dupe souls for, but... <clears throat> but then you guys would have to sit and watch that. So dupe some fucking souls. You're not my mom. Okay. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Where, uh, where do I get the crest shield from? Is that the shield that Oscar drops after he hollows in the asylum? Based on my viewers, I would guess that the preference would be watch me struggle against kings. Wait, what's the... Yeah, the magic block on this is 42%. <laughs> Alright, let's go visit Oscar. Short ribs, taking phone. Enjoy. Ow. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my neck. I think Oscar drops it. Either Oscar drops it, or it's in the Valley of Drakes. By the Undead Dragon. But I think that's the Dragon Crest Shield. So, let's go visit Oscar. Oh my god, they get hyper armor during that jump attack. Give me that Chlorinthy ring back. Bitch. Holy hyper armor, Batman. It's Oscar? Nice. Yeah, let's go visit Oscar then. What the fuck? Don't kick me. Shit. 
Guys, did I forget I had a parry Oscar? Nope, we good. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck is happening? Havels is also 90. Well, Havels is 90 block everything. <laughs> Stop kicking me, you fuck. <laughs> I'd be proud of you. You did the parry of the BKH knight off the ledge trick first try today. Nice. Yeah, normally you can get him to to dump himself off the ledge, but All right, crest shield. All right, I do have the stats to wield this. And of course I got mids. Actually, Havels is 100 physical, 90 magic, and 80 fire and lightning. So, okay, that's that's fair. It, it's it's almost 90 everything. It's an average of 90 everything, basically. <laughs> magic rings would magic ring would probably be best for magic death, but you'd have to go to Anorlando with the moonlight butterfly soul. I don't think I killed butterfly. But you know what? As long as I'm here. Let's give this AoE spamming fuck a shot. What are you doing, dude? Can't remember the last time I fought you. I mean, in your arena, where you belong. Here, I can get souls this way, and at least this is more entertaining than watching me dupe. Oh, fuck. I don't know how I escaped that one. Magic Ring Shield is also 90% magic defense, but its stability is hot ass. Oof. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. This is going better than I thought it would. 
Hey, bud. Yeah. Oh right, beat a jump. Blip, 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 blur, blur, blur. Yeah. Blip, blip. Blip, blip. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Ew. Blip, blip. Oh, fuck. Oh, balls. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh no, why? I got stuck in his butt fat. Eh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh god. I feel like the hitboxes on his AoE are really inconsistent. <laughs> Either that or I'm better at dodging them than I give myself credit for. The- oh my god, a melee attack? I'll call fucking Ripley's. He actually hit me. Good job, bruh. Look at that. You tried your best and it finally worked. <laughs> blink, blink, blink. I think the only thing better than the magic ring shield and crest shield for this is warrior's round shield. It's an 84.5 magic defense at magic 10 plus, but that's a lot of work for not even 5% damage resistance. Yeah, that's that's totally not worth it. Totally not worth it. Blip, blip, blip. Well, nothing I could do there. Guys, he hit me twice. I'm so proud of him.
Ja. You fuck. He waited until I was shifting in my chair. He knew. He knew. Miyazaki's got a camera in my house. And he's sitting at From Software Headquarters, hitting his RNG button. He's like, fuck this random small-time Twitch streamer in particular. He's always hacking my game. And doing weird, stupid runs in it. Like the no-hit guys, that's one thing. But this? Armor of Thorns only? I will not stand for this. Stop make- Stop trying to make Armor of Thorns only happen. It's not going to happen. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. If I ever meet Miyazaki, you know, after thanking him for creating the franchise that has given me so much enjoyment over the years, I'm gonna tell him, oh, by the way, I hack and mod your games all the time. And when he's like, but McDan, that's very disrespectful. I'm gonna be like, yeah, well, you made Mikalash, so fuck you. Or he could say, lol, me too. <laughs> That is fair. I don't know, is is making a modification to a piece of software you wrote really hacking? Back from kitchen, BT dubs. Good thing you checked they needed tending. Well, that's good. Wouldn't want to have to deal with untended short ribs. Blur. So far, cross your fingers, your internet is hitch-free. Nice. You think, uh... You think you tw cheered Twitch into stability? <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I really hope that's not the case, because... Then every time, you know, Twitch is on the fritz or something, you'll be incentivized to throw money at me. And I don't- I don't want to benefit from that. Giving them about as much credit as YouTube, TBH. I surprisingly don't have any problems with YouTube, usually. If I'm having a problem with YouTube, it's because I'm having a problem with my internet. <laughs> But then again, there's also the extra wrinkle of Twitch where it's live, so... Oh, fuck. You know, as far as being run by a bot system, nobody understands. Ah, gotcha. Hey, algorithms are complicated.
Oof, this run. Uh, it's a run. That is, that is accurate. Hey, Killer Queen. How are you doing? Welcome to my dark, sordid little corner of the internet. Blech. Blech. Bet there's some algorithm that prioritizes quality options. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like... A set number of affiliates. Or... There's a set number of... Let's call them quality option cookies. That are available at any one point in time. And there are more quality option cookies... Than there are partners. So that way, anytime a partner is live, they're guaranteed quality options. But then there's also extra ones. Extra quality option cookies. And whenever an affiliate goes live, if there's an extra quality option cookie available, they get the quality option cookie. But if there aren't any quality option cookies and an affiliate goes live, they don't get them. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. <laughs> For affiliates. It's first come, first served. You're okay? Me? Well, I'm doing this run. So, I'm doing this run. Have a great update. The guy you messaged to buy something from hit you back. May have to leave out for a bit. You do what you gotta do, my friend. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, see, this isn't bad. Really, the only wrinkle in this run, so far, has been four kings. Four kings has been the only boss where I've been like, you know what? This might not be possible for me to do. Well, I mean, I know it's possible because somebody did it. I literally watched somebody did it, but... For all I know, that person is the only guy in the world. How was Ornstein and Smo? Uh, I killed Ornstein and Smo first try. I think, uh... I think it took 28 minutes. And I burned through 20 Estus and most of my humanity reserves. I highlighted it, if you want to see. Yeah, other than... Surprisingly, other than Four Kings, the only boss I think I've had to do twice so far has been Seif. <laughs> because he did a random front tail whip and just... completely decimated me. Still, even if there's only one other person who's done it, you think I can do it? I mean, I can do it. Once again, I might be wearing pants on my head when I finally do, but... Killer Queen, thank you for the follow. Glad you're enjoying what you're seeing. Boom. Bitch. Oh god. Yeah. So close on the fat boy? Yeah, we'll get there. You want to know what sucks, though? 
I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> so, so who will win? Stray Demon's health bar? Or my digestive tract? Rooting for me so hard? Thank you. That must be why I'm doing so well. The people believe in me. Hiya! Hiya! Uh oh. Bathroom? Better not drink that Estus. <laughs> I, that's what it that's what happened. I drank too much Estus. It just goes right through me Come on buddy. Oh god, please no Not like this Yeah. No wonder I get it back every time I rest. Oh, God. Also dig in the Mountain Dew mod. You want to know what's awesome? The HUD icon is a Mountain Dew bottle, but so is... So is my actual physical Estes Flask model. Like, let me see if I can get somewhere where you can see it. I don't know if you can see it too well, but... But fun fact, those are actual, those are actually two separate mods by two separate mod authors who both had, who both individually had great ideas that turned out to both be half of one epic idea. And that makes me so happy. I love it when a plan comes together like that. All right, get bent straight, demon. Cool. GG. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Eat dicks, stray demon. Is that Black Knight on my ass? He's not. Okay. All right, let's see if that gets me enough endurance to dual wield these shields. Like a rude dude. Time to upgrade your weapon to plus 50. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, oh, that doesn't even get me one level. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, well, so much for that. Uh, I am going to go use the bathroom real quick, as previously mentioned. And then we go and do a bunch of soul duping. BRB.
Yeah, Killer Queen, I agree. That would be dope. Ugh, okay. Huh. <sighs> I just lost seven pounds. New bosses? Technically, there are new bosses in, uh... In some mods, like Daughters of Ash, for instance, but... They're based on existing enemies. Alright, let's dupe. Alright, let's see how many levels this gets me. Let's, uh, let's go kill this knight in case we want to go visit Waifu. You know, just in case I completely lose my mind and decide to turn this into an all-bosses run. Whoops. I mean, I've almost killed all the bosses in the base game anyway. Ow. Dickhole. Which is from Ulaseal are your waifus? Ow. You mean the, uh, the bloathead sorcerers? Look at him, he's so confused. He's like, why are you doing this? I don't understand. I feel like this run has had far more examples of wandering or confused AI than other runs have. And I think it's because the game doesn't know how to react to me just rolling and nothing else. I think the game genuinely has no idea what to do about me. Get out of here so everyone can see you. Blur. 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 
Lord. This is the most trolly bullshit. It really is. No, that's the most trolly bullshit. <laughs> This is a new low for this poor knight. It really is, isn't it? This is like fighting Havel. Except I gravity cheesed Havel in this run. Because I didn't have enough endurance to wear the entire thorn set yet. It's like when the anime protagonist goes up against the big pad. I assume you mean big bad. And he blocks every one of their punches with like one finger. <laughs> ever made one successful parry in any of these games just can't get it no matter how much you practice well with with dark souls one here's my advice like i had trouble with parries for the longest time because like i thought you know you've got the parry animation you know where you wind up and then go back i thought the parry started on the going back but it turns out if you stand up against the wall and watch when it sparks Now the parry comes out frame one. So basically you want to hit that as soon as the attack jerks forward. Like he winds up, goes forward, and that's when you hit the button, as soon as he jerks forward. Like that. So I don't know if that helps. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Carry on. I think you're supposed to be swatting the hand, not the sword. Yeah, before it would connect. Like I said, as soon as it jerks forward. See, I, I went early that time and I fucked it up. Hey ya! So yeah, that's that's my advice. Just just put on the the heaviest armor you can find and go find a basic hollow and just you know play with your food a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can see the input display. You can see where in the attack animation I'm hitting parry. You can see when I fuck up and when I'm successful. What the timing is. Hey, yeah.
Always thought it was when it would connect. Oh, oh, okay, I understand what you guys are talking about now. Yeah, you want to hit it right when it would jerk forward. Now, that, that only applies for... That only applies for this game. The other games in the series are... are different. <laughs> because they changed the timings. You know, something worked perfectly. It wasn't broke, so they fixed it until it was. All right, I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery. Got shit to do. Okay, uh, let's give the kings another try. Other games have weird parries that you don't into it. Yeah, that's that's perfectly reasonable. Actually, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna put Crest Shield in this hand. So that way I can block and dupe without having to change one or two handing. The only time you parried was when you tried doing a parry-only run and did on Gundir by accident. Nice. Yeah, another tip. Um, uh, shields like target shield and the buckler have bigger parry windows so it's easier to parry with them but they also have bigger recovery periods so while it's easier to parry with them if you do screw up a parry there's a longer recovery before you can parry with them again so I don't know in my opinion you know, the level of parrying that I'm at. <laughs> Which may or may not be that impressive in the grand scheme of things. You know, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but... The level of proficiency I've reached with parrying, I'm much more comfortable using a medium shield. Because of the shorter recovery period. That's true, I did do the parry the world run. You're good, mate? Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. Blur. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see how this goes. Actually, let me go down further. I don't want to hit one of these little fucks on the way down. Chat, I forgot to put the Covenant of Artorias back on. Chat, streamer's an idiot. <laughs> chat, chat, I need adult supervision. <laughs> Yeah, 
Is that what Comer always says? Chat, I need adult supervision. <laughs> Oh man, that's the first time I've done that in years. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. Like how you imply you do that a lot, or did. Oh my god, I, I used to do it all the fucking time. I used to do it fucking constantly. I always forget stupid shit like that. <laughs> constantly. <laughs> I'm always, like, accidentally eating Firekeeper Souls, or... You know, just, just stupid shit. Just stupid shit. <laughs> Or, like, I get the Lord Vessel and I'll go charging full steam ahead to the Duke's archives and realize I never placed the Lord Vessel. Like, not taking your armor off in Isolith. <laughs> okay, let me actually... Let me make a new save file here, in case, uh, in case of Firekeeper soul getting eaten accidentally. Excuse me. Another area that's obvious Enjoy Coke. Ritualistic carving would be the pentagram or the inverted pentagram <clears throat> on the right and the left side of the upper chest. This oftentimes would be the high priest. Ow. All right, let's go. You piece of shit. Whatever. We All right, let's see if this was worth it. Oh my god, yes, that was worth it. <laughs> Holy shit. We're in business, baby. That we are, my friend. That we are. Fuck. Fuck, we're not. We're not. We're out of business. We're good. Run saved? I don't know about that. Now it's easy, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Easy run, easy life. <laughs> Ow. You piece of shit. Fuck me running. It begins. Are you shitting me? All three of you? For real? What's stooping the humanity doing? When you use a Firekeeper soul, it's a full heal. 
And that's the only way I'm going to make it through this fight, is duping heals. Because I'm going to run... Because I would run out of Estus real quick. And of course... Humanity is one and done. Get your bitch ass out of here. You ain't grab attacking me, motherfucker. Piece of shit. All right, this guy's isolated, so I'm gonna go for him. You get your ass back here. All right now, now I'm out. Okay. Wow, this shield is really good at blocking magic. Jesus. Okay, looking for my chance to heal. I rolled that, but okay. Oh my god! I'm up against an invisible wall. That's what's happening. Jesus Christ. Please, please, please. Ah, phew. Okay. We're kinda back in business. That was so stressful. Welcome to my stream. Everything is stressful, just like my life. Would you guys just leave me alone, please? Okay. Alright, this guy's isolated, so... I'm gonna go for him. Alright, he's not isolated anymore. I see you with your cheeky magic attacks, Kings. You don't think they're gonna leave me alone? Well, that's rude of them. Isolated King means we go to town. This is my nightmare. <laughs> I've, I rolled that. You guys saw that. Okay, isolated king. Here we go. Going to town with like 50 damage. Hey. Let's go into town for this run. <laughs> Ow. The fuck? This is bad. This is bad. This is bad.
This is really bad. <laughs> okay, that... What? I got killed by invisible magic. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> I tell you what, I'm going to go kill some other stuff for a while. So, I'm going to make a command. If anybody comes in and asks while I'm killing other stuff, exclamation point king status. And just for the lulls. Too bad you're not double jointed. Cause if you were, you'd be able to bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. Leroy! I mean there's also that. But in case anybody wants some lulls. There. McDan status. Pants on head crazy. <laughs> So let's go kill Butterfly. Chef, I'm debating instituting a mercy rule for this king's fight. Like, you know how sometimes a boxer will just go and go and go until their manager throws in the towel? Or whoever's in their corner. I'm appointing you that guy. If you think it gets to be too much... Then I want you to tell me you're throwing in the towel on my behalf. And then we'll just kill kings some other way and... ...move on with the run. Cause you know, I don't want to be stuck on this run for... ...weeks at a time. I don't think that'll be fun for anybody involved. Even if I could technically do it. <laughs> Besides, even if I do this run minus four kings, I'm still in good company. Might just be a stupid, ugly grind. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Because you know... what happens with me and stupid, ugly grinds. 
when what I want on the other side of the grind is something that I want badly enough. I just I just double down and keep going. Like, if it's something I could give two shits about, I just straight up don't do the grind. But if I really want what's on the other side, I just keep going. Like the cosplay runs. What the fuck happened to Butterfly's tail there? That was weird. Sweet magic block, I know. It's good. That's real good, man. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> That's the good shit right there, man. <laughs> It is. Oh shit. I can put Clorinthy Ring back on. Also, did I just reference the worst Dana Carvey movie? I have no idea. Thought that was just a meme. It's a meme because it's from the worst Dana Carvey movie. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Okay, so maybe this isn't gonna be as bad as I thought. The butterfly has significantly less health than I thought. Which isn't surprising considering normally I don't fight butterfly. And if I do, I come to Butterfly so late in the run that I just destroy it. Just take Dana Carvey and put him in something from Adam Sandler's dog shit production company? Oh my. Do I have to? I like some of Adam Sandler's movies. I know that's a controversial opinion to have in the year of our Lord 2019. But I do. Well, I should say I like a Adam Sandler movie. I like Mr. Deeds. But I don't think it's really Adam Sandler's performance that makes that good. It's mostly his co-stars. Don't think that was his production company either. For some reason I want to say that was like MGM or something. I think. Talking Jack and Jill or Pixels? Oh, was Pixels that video game one with Peter Dinklage? I never saw that. Is that really that terrible? Consider myself lucky, oh my. Would you say it's the worst piece of video games related media ever created besides Fallout 76? What the fuck was that? I 
I have no idea what just happened there. Something disconnected and reconnected. Computer, what are you doing? My computer's having some kind of argument with one of my USB devices. I think it might be my Elgato. Because I'm pretty sure I saw it flash there. Worse than the Super Mario Brothers movie starring Captain Lou Albano? Oh god. For a brief, glorious period of time, I forgot that exists. And now I'm reminded. Thank you, Chef. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Dude, this shield's magic block is absolutely bonkers. Learned all the poopy movies slash games. Oh, you went through an AVGN and Nostalgia Critic phase on YouTube. Gotcha. Did I not heal? Did I forget to heal? I mean, not like it fucking matters, but... Do I need to? No, I was just confused by... Looking up and my health bar wasn't at full. Because normally the pattern I've been doing is... It comes down, I get my rolls in, then I roll away and... Drink a link. Hey, buddy. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, friend. Chef. Can we get a shout out for Koobs, please? Thank you, Chef. Hello, everybody, coming over from Koobs' channel. Nice to meet you. I'm McDan. I am a Soulsborne challenge and speedrunner with a serious variety habit. <laughs> You've caught me in the middle of an Armor of Thorns only run. We were doing four kings. But they suck. So we're taking a break and doing some of the optional bosses. Yep, I'm still in it. Still in it. Koobs, I'm pretty sure I shot you a follow, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I 
I never seem to be able to catch you live, though. Like, you're always streaming when I'm streaming, or... Okay, that that's what happened earlier. Or like I'm doing something else. I'll, I'll find a way someday, Coos. I will find a way, goddammit. Wait a minute. Someone do me a favor. Before I finish this boss fight... I just had a hell of an idea. Look up. Look up which Beatrice on the Dark Souls wiki. Do I have to summon Beatrice for this fight? To summon her for the Four Kings? Because I just had a hell of an idea. Hurry, quick. Somebody look it up before I kill this butterfly. Almost cheating, but not. But not. You do not have to kill the butterfly to make her sign appear in New Londo. It should be enough to summon her in the forest and send her home. Fuck! I didn't summon her in the forest. Well, here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna judge me for this. And if they do, I invite them to do this run themselves. <laughs> Plus, technically, I'm not using a weapon other than Armor of Thorns. And it's not like there's an Armor of Thorns category on speedrun.com that I'm gonna get disqualified from. Also kind of cheating. If it exists in the game, it is fair game. Beatrice exists in the game. Therefore, she is fair game. What am I doing? Which is the worst cheating? Summoning Beatrice or using a weapon? Riddle me that, Batman. Right? Tough choice, right? I'm going with the choice that involves me not using a weapon. Because the parameters of the challenge are, I can't damage anything with a weapon, but I'm not Beatrice. Fuck. This is bad.
Uh, Beatrice. How badly do four kings suck? They're they're actually the worst. Put it this way. Every run I've looked up, every Armor of Thorns only run I've looked up was subtitled except four kings. Except for one. So apparently only one person in the world has done this run without using a weapon on four kings. My weapon is Beatrice. Judging by how she's doing so far, I'm still fucked. Wait, no, we good. We good. I'm helping. If Beatrice can help you beat 4K, she will be... Beatrice? <laughs> nice. I mean, if we're being honest, Beatrice is also kinda bay. I could summon Mildred? Nah. Beatrice is better for four kings. Thanks, Beatrice. Beatrice honestly is my favorite, uh, favorite NPC summon. I really enjoyed her cosplay run. Why did I do that? I didn't need any of those things. Okay. Rip bug. Favorite more than Sunbro? Absolutely favorite more than Sunbro. Nothing against Sunbro, but Beatrice is a mage. I love mages. me a basic Dark Souls bitch, but I love me some Sunbro. Hey, I love Sunbro too. But Beatrice is cooler. Really want to finish Solaire's quest without him dying? Do you want to know? Or spoilerinos. By the way, everybody here who doesn't know who Kooves is, go check out Kooves. Just started streaming again. Playing through Bloodborne for the first time. Which is exciting. You want to know, but you want to see it in your own playthrough, so no spoilerinos. Right, easy on the real sad, Chef. <laughs> he wants to learn about the sadness on his own.
That's all you were gonna say? Ah, okay. My bad. Just, just nipping any further comment in the bud. Seems all of the NPC stories are sad in DS1. They all end up going hollow. You dickhole. This is bullshit. I'm out. Kick him off a cliff and call him a shitlord. Yep, that's that's basically what you do. Fucking hell. This is bad. Um, where's the Dark Wraith? Oh, there he is. Cool. Beatrice, come kill these fucks. Beatrice? Beatrice! Beatrice, where the fuck did you go? Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck?! No! No! God damn it! Fuck. All right, I can't quit out because fucking Beatrice is here. Right, I forgot how fucking useless Beatrice is. Cool. So I've got that to look forward to. Thanks, Obama. Honestly, there's part of me that just wants to fight them by myself now. <laughs> but I know that's gonna be terrible too. Beatrice wasn't much help. I'm pretty sure she just, like, immediately fell off the cliff. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So, getting Beatrice actually summoned is going to be an adventure in and of itself. <laughs> like, actually summoned and in the boss door. Hurting cats. <laughs> so I think my strategy is going to be. If we manage to, uh. If 
we manage to... Kill these dudes. I'll send Beatrice home. Then make a save file while all these dudes are dead. And then we'll work from that. Oh, this is great. Beatrice, you fucking idiot! I think you could get sunlight metal silicon molds made. I'm not sure. I mean, probably. Okay, let's send Beatrice home. And let's back up this save file. Thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. Hey, Chain. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it, my friend. Everybody coming over from Chain's channel, hello. I am McDan. I am a Dark Souls challenge and speedrunner with a serious variety habit. Oh, that's what keeps happening to her. You caught me in the middle of an Armor of Thorns only run. And this is awful. Oh yeah, this is this is a ton of fun. I'm having a blast. So, Four Kings is awful. I'm currently in the process of trying to kill these fuckers. So I can back up my saves save file and get Beatrice through the fog door. with at least a little bit of health. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is the worst. Is the elevator down here? Okay, cool. No RTSR strats? Fuck nah, dude. Even if I was doing RTSR strats, even if I was doing RTSR strats. Do you know how close to impossible it's gonna be to not get a hit for like 35 minutes while there are four kings in the arena? Oh great, okay. Fuck's sake. That's right, I can't quit out when Beatrice is here. Fuck off, bruh.
See you, loser. Yeah, we don't even know if RTSR works with Armor of Thorns, and I'm not about to... I'm not about to test it. <laughs> Parry into quit out? <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> it's like my most ballsy strat and my most cheesy strat all at once. Okay, so now this is the save file. I'm gonna back up. Interdimensional drive-by parry. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna back up this save file right here. Hopefully I can get Beatrice into the fog door unaccosted now. By the way, I'm using the input display because I do have a shield in my hand just to prove that... Just to prove that I'm not doing any actual attacks. Just doing Armor of Thorns. Okay, Beatrice, let's go. This way. With me in full health. Alright, cool. I am not at full health. Let's see how this goes. Hope she doesn't decide to bullshit around a lot. <laughs> yeah, for real. Do you know how long it's been since I've fought four kings with Beatrice? Literal years. Am I wearing the ring? Yes, I am. Literal years since I've summoned Beatrice for the kings. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, definitely worth checking, considering I already came down here without the ring once tonight. Alright, Beatrice, work your magic. Pun intended. Okay. Okay. This might work. Never mind, we're fucked. Oh, Beatrice is getting kissed. I'm about to get kissed, too. Uh, okay, well... Well, now here we are, right back where we were, except now with a buffed king's health bar. She did like seven rolls worth of damage, that's not true, she did a lot more than that. Actually, fuck this. <laughs> Sigh, sigh, sigh. Actually, let me... I'm gonna set the save file to read only. 
I think that'll be quicker than restoring the backup file. Maybe if you like roll into all four kings at once. <laughs> That's like 40 damage. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst. Excuse me, that's 52 damage, thank you, Kappa. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Beatrice, please cast magic at him. Leave my witch alone. This is the same fucking thing that happened last time. You get a crew of people all doing the same build to summon. Yeah, but it would never work in Prepare to Die edition. This game fucking melts down if you try to summon one friend. Okay, well, Beatrice is dead. Fucking, I hate that. I hate this. Then the boss would have even more health. <laughs> yep. Can't be light enough to use it with this armor on. That is accurate. Okay. Stand by. Properties. Take it off read only. Whoops. Okay. Summon like 30 friends, bum rush them. If only, dude. If only. Imagine like getting a fucking army together in this game. Just broke your glasses. What'd you do that for? I'm I'm sorry, that was that was stupid. How, uh, how did you do that? Are you alright? Beatrice, I swear to god if you walk off the cliff. <laughs> yeah, I see you looking at enemies down there. Don't you worry your pretty little head about them. The real enemies are downstairs. Clean them with your shirt and once one of the sides just popped off. Oof. That's rough. Is it just like a screw that came out? Because I've had that happen. Like four years old, though. Surprised they made it this long. Yeah, four's, four's pretty old for a pair of glasses, I would think. Oh, 
Fucking Shane, are there four people still playing Prepare to Die Edition? <sighs> I love it. Plop. Alright, let's go. Alright, Beatrice, make with the magic spells, please. Ow. Fuck. Beatrice! Well, this is all gonna go to shit again. I'll save you, Beatrice! I tried. Can I heal Beatrice by drinking Estus? I cannot. Okay. Beatrice, no! I tried. Yes, Beatrice. No, Beatrice. Beatrice! reason I have prepared to die anymore is to mod that instead of remaster so I don't get banned on remaster. Exactly, Queen. Exactly. What possessed her to run into melee range? Cause she dumb. She an NPC? Yeah. Got him down to one eighth this time. Progress. Cool. Awesome. Getting good. I fucking hate everything. <laughs> cool. So... We got them down by one-eighth. So... Beatrice? We just need to do eight times as well as we just did. And we're golden. Off to a great start. Glasses are now successfully taped, Kappa. Good, you can, you can go for the Harry Potter look. Come, Beatrice, our foe awaits. I will protect you, Beatrice! Now, Beatrice, do your part. Beatrice, magic, please. Beatrice! Beatrice, you fucking idiot, would you cast Soul Arrow? God damn it. I literally walked right into that one. <laughs> this is the shittiest run I've ever done. <laughs> this is awful. This is actually terrible.
looked off in the distance when I said that. Why are you picturing me at a Little League soccer game? Running up to his kid, screaming in his face, will you stop being a fucking idiot? <laughs> oh, Chain. That's hilarious. You think someday I'm gonna have a kid. Be a forced gump run where you run past all non-bosses. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure that's just me playing Dark Souls regularly. Also, I'm pretty sure it's called a pacifist run. Hi, Beatrice. I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion, Beatrice. This time, could you try... not being fucking worthless? Yeah? Could you, could you try that? Okay. Let's do it. Beatrice is actually kind of fit for a sorceress. Can you get her clothes? Yes. After the four kings are dead. Um! Beatrice. Be Beatrice? I think I offended her. Be Beatrice! Um... Better get some roses? Nah. Don't need to. I set my save file to read only, so I can just go back in time. Hell hath no fury, like a witch scorned. Okay, let's go. By the way, that trick of setting your save file to read only does not work in the remaster. If you try to load a save file that's set to read only in the remaster, it will say your save file is corrupted. Hell hath no fury like a Dan stuck on a meme run. Is this a meme run? Because this feels like a challenge run at this point. Better start calling her Bitch Beatrice. Bitch Weatrice. Yeah? Bitch Weatrice. Weatrice, where you at? Can't it be both? I mean, I suppose. Are you ready, Beatrice? Let's go. Oh, glad you decided to join me this time. It doesn't change the fact that there exist a lot of strange phenomena, bizarre beyond reason or logic. McDan is learning how to talk to women. As if. Beatrice. If it's not too much trouble, I would like to request that you do magic, please. Thank you. Now some more magic, please. Beatrice. I respect your feelings and your needs and wishes, but I'm really gonna need you to give me some fucking magic now. I, I need you to give me magic at a faster rate. Uh, here, I'll distract this guy. She likes it when you call her mean names, apparently. Oh my god. And of course, Beatrice is over there making out with one of the kings. Great. Did 
Did I just straight up dodge that? Nice. Oh good, and we're at we're at three kings now. Beatrice, what would possess you to run into melee range? Oh my god. Why doesn't she heal herself? This is the this is the prepare to die edition. Phantoms can't use Estus. If it's not too much trouble, I would like to request that you not suck ass. I don't think the NPC phantoms use Estus even in the remaster, Chef. Or Chain. The CH names, they fuck me up. Hey, Chef. If your throwing in the towel was a percentage-based progress bar, where would it be sitting right now? Thirty to forty. All right, back to work. Not as mad as I could be. Oh. You also want me to be okay and not have the worst time? I'm not having the worst time. I mean, not gonna lie, this is pretty dildos, but. Beatrice, are you shitting me? Beatrice, come on, please. I need this. No! I will intercept the magic and. Oh, never mind. Guys, I don't think this strat is going to work. Do you? I think Beatrice is just too stupid. Do they get more HP because she's there? Yes. That's not a nice thing to say about your new girlfriend, Dan. She's not my girlfriend. She's just a girl I call up in the middle of the... I guess it's night. And since there's four, that's like four times the health bar. That's totally how that works. Beatrice. What? What? What the fuck was that? She fell. She fucking fell. Oh my god.
I hate everything. Take a break? I already took a break. I pooped. And now here we are. Just because she's his girlfriend doesn't mean she gets a pass. Exactly. Beatrice, for fuck's sake. She's got to be the dumbest magic user in existence. I know. Jesus Christ, I know. Well, I mean, she is self-taught. She didn't go to the Vinheim Dragon School. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> she, she's trying to cast spells through the fucking wall to kill the massive souls. Meanwhile, she dumps on Dark Wraiths like it's nothing. <laughs> I kind of want to see if she makes it back here. <laughs> well, so much for that. What got her? From... I would have to... If I had to guess, I would say probably another Dark Wraith. Okay. Beatrice, I saw you look over there. Don't do it. This is worse than Damien outside of Rama? I don't know who Damien is. Is Damien an NPC summoned in Bloodborne? Damien of Menzis. I've only played Bloodborne once. <laughs> I don't know, just just couldn't get into it. Not as much as this game, at least. Alright. Literally one of the most useless summons. More useless than our gal Beatrice here? Nope. 
Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What? How did that happen? Alright guys, I'm making a poll. Number one, because I want to get input from you guys. Number two, because I've never done a poll before. Okay, so what we're voting on is what we do. Type exclamation vote zero for get a weapon, you fool. Exclamation vote one for you've made your bed, lie in it, and get good. I'm starting the poll now. Isn't there a thorn shield? Yeah, but it's it's kind of useless. Okay, so we've got we got one vote for get a weapon, you fool. One vote for you've made your bed, lie in it, and get good. So it's a tie. I'm gonna give it... How do I feel? Doesn't matter, Chef. Doesn't matter. That's why I'm doing the poll. What do you guys want to see? Is this something I want to beat? I would like to beat it, but at the same time, I want to entertain you guys, and that's more important than this fucking nonsense. Really conflicted, but you're worried for me? Don't be. I've been in worse spots than this. Well, that that's not true. Does upgrading the armor increase the damage? Number one, no. Number two, it's already at plus five across the board. Is it a point of pride thing or no? But it, I, I don't give a shit. If I if I do all of this shit except for four kings, then I did the same run that Lobos did. So I would feel no shame there. All right, I need at least one more person to vote because we're tied up right now. How do you skip four kings? You don't. You use a weapon. All right, so we're at two for get a weapon, you fool. One for you've made your bed, lie in it, and get good. So I'm going to give it another 30 seconds or so. Is the barbed sword in this one? Yes.
All right, closing the poll. All right. Let's get a weapon. I guess I'll... I'll take the save file off of read only. There's no shame in it, then let's do it. There's there's no shame for me. I could care less. Unsubs. Chain, you're not subbed. You can't undo something that you're not. Alright. Hey guys, let's let's go see if we can get the Black Knight Halberd. Yeah, Chef, I know, and I appreciate it. Just need a lot of humanity to get it to drop, right? I, I don't think you can ever get it to 100%. No! God damn it. And if we don't get it to drop, we'll go with another option. I'm not just gonna, like, spawn something into my inventory, you know? Yeah, I mean, if it was one king, it would be absolutely no problem. But the fact that the fight is designed to be a DPS race is just... Oof. Just oof. DPS greater than meme builds? I agree. Look at that, I poised right through that shit. Now, just because I'm doing this, whoa, does not mean the Armor of Thorns only run is over. We're still doing Gwyn Armor of Thorns only. You can bet your sweet tail on that. That's gonna be a riot. You're right. Question is, did I kill this knight already? Yeah, Chain, this is the last Lord Soul. I already did most of the bosses in the game. Are you still alive? He's not still alive. Did we get the halberd? We did not get the halberd. Okay. All right, let's go to the Burg and try to get the Greatsword. Imagining it like the fight with the Knight earlier, it's, it's going to be exactly like that. It's going to be exactly like that. Blacksmith Hammer, that's an option. But I prefer a Black Knight weapon.
What? Oh, okay. Um. Um. Fuck. I went early. You know what? Like this, but with Gwyn. I mean, basically. This is basically how the Gwyn fight's gonna go. Look at him. He has no idea what to do. That was weird. Carried that, but okay. Can you really blame him though? I can't. Fuck. Went early. That was a partial. That was early. What the fuck? How was that a partial? What the shit? I want your sword. Give me your sword. Fuck me. He doesn't want to give me his sword. Give me! You piece of shit! God damn it. What, what are you doing here? How many of the four lords did I kill? All of them except the kings. Hammer time? Nah. I'm gonna go see if I can get that Black Knight sword in the Burg. And if I don't get that, then it'll be hammer time. I can't remember if I killed this guy yet or not. I did not. Okay, good. You're about to suggest I farm it in Gwyn's area? We're not quite there yet. yelling that song right now. <laughs> Four Kings seems to be the big roadblock for basically everybody who does this run. Understandably so. Keep a save file for this run just in case. I already got one.
Give me your sword. Hell yeah. Finally. Chain, you're watching the wrong run if you expect things to get accomplished in a timely manner. Uh, what stats do I need? First of all, can I quick roll with it? Of course not. So I'm gonna need more endurance. 20 strength, 18 dex. Oof. Bless him a Jesus. Bless RNGs as he died for our drops, yes. Alright, guess we're gonna have to do some duping. To that halberd knight and forgot to both back up your save and eat some humanity. Oof. That's rough, man. Now you're not sure what to do with that run? Get another weapon. Or reset. Dragon King Great Axe and spam the R2. <laughs> 20 strength. Alright. More levels. Surprisingly, if you dupe off the parry animation, it doesn't seem to matter if you're male or female. Good to know. Shit. Fuck. God damn it! I really wish I knew what determined whether that window defaulted onto yes or no. So that I could manipulate it to always be on yes, so this would be a faster process. Okay, now the question is how much endurance do I need? Actually... So I'm not doing Armor of Thorns only, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh shit, my character's a cutie. Anyway, let's visit our friend the giant blacksmith and not kill him.
See, now it defaults to yes. I wish I understood. And you shall feel my wrath. Hey, Tarot Skull. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. I'm sad to report that the Armor of Thorns only run has become Armor of Thorns only minus four kings. I'm sorry to say. How did Tracy miss the giant blacksmith? I have no fucking idea. I have no idea. I think she was so tunnel visioned on ONS that she didn't even like look this way. Which is surprising because she knows his corpse is there in Dark Souls 3. Hey Crash Test Hero. Tarot Skull. Thank you for the raid. Don't dance game me, man. <laughs> You have any idea the shit I've been through trying to kill four kings with armor of thorns only? Literally, like, one person in the world has done it. Thank you for shouting out Tarot Skull. Dude, that shit is actually the worst. Defend the chat. We have no defense here. We just let it happen. Guys, check out Tarot Skull. Last I knew, he was working on Bloodborne BL4? And I think he was considering doing Hitless. So, go check him out. Gonna do no hit any percent now? Nice. Very nice. So, hello everybody. Coming in from Tarot Skull's channel. My name is McDan, Dark Souls Challenge and Speedrunner. I gave it the old college try, but there's no way in hell I'm going to kill four kings with Armor of Thorns only. I've killed everything else Armor of Thorns only. But four kings doesn't exactly seem reasonable. So we're going to go kill four kings the old-fashioned way. With a plus five Black Knight sword. Never played this? You should give it a try. It's a good time. I mean, not your first time through. To be fair, the rest of it didn't seem reasonable for most humans either. Wonder how long it took that one guy to kill four kings with thorns? Uh, the, the fight on video was like 35 minutes. Or something ridiculous like that. Hey, I killed Ornstein and Smo armor of thorns only. I'm I'm satisfied with that. Did he use Beatrice? He did not. Oh yeah, on my first try. Killed ONS. Armor of Thorns only, first try. Really the only boss besides four kings that I had to do twice was uh was Seath. Because he did this weird, like, front tail whip thing I've never seen before. But don't worry, once the kings are dead, we're going back to Armor of Thorns only, and we will be doing Gwyn that way. All the required bosses are dead. Capra and Gaping are dead. Stray Demon is dead. Moonlight Butterfly is dead. All Armor of Thorns only, except for Butterfly. We summoned Butterfly for Beatrice because... I was trying to summon her for four kings. So I wanted to be on the safe side there. But it turns out Beatrice is a fucking moron, so... That plan didn't work. <laughs> Got the ring on. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's do this.
Come here, motherfucker. That's more like it. Whoa. Damn, dude, he's got jukes. Worth it. Worth it. Get fucked. Piece of shit. Where'd you go? There you are. So glad you have a long weekend and don't have to work tomorrow. All right. So now, just to commit. C O M M I T T T T T T T T T T T. Commit to doing this. Armor of thorns only. I just dropped the sword. I'm leaving it there. Whoops. All right, let's go kill Gwen. It's the fire block on this, like 55 versus Grass Crest, which is 70. Okay, yeah, so there's no fucking reason for me to even wear that. Sorry. Huh? Shut up. Someone like three ages later is gonna pick it up and wonder what the fuck. <laughs> Just a random Black Knight sword laying around somewhere around the time of Dark Souls 3. Oh, I can level. I has levels. I has a level. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill Gwen. Dan drive by Perry, patent pending. <laughs> the McDan drive by Perry, patent pending. I'm gonna do it to every fucking night in here.
The McDan drive by Perry, patent pending. The McDan drive by Perry, patent pending. The McDan drive by Perry, patent pending. And just for lulls. The McDan drive by Perry, patent pending. Don't do this. What the fuck is happening? What? Where was the heal? What the fuck? This fucking game, holy shit. Old man still hits hard, that he does. What the fuck is going on? There we go. Blurp. Shit. Blurp. 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 This could take a while. Probably will. Fuck, I don't have Chlorinthy Ring on. I just realized why my stamina was coming back so slow. And I don't mean this boss, I mean this actual fight. Man, there have been some long fights. I think ONS took like 28 minutes. Seath was like 35. I should heal. There we go. Okay, the 
The two rolls is a little too risky. I'm not about that life. timing is different compared to the remaster or you know it's just not working because it's the prepare to die edition and it's a piece of garbage on my vape and I didn't account for that. <laughs> Why did I not heal when I pressed the fucking button? Game. Thank you. I actually do more by numbers damage than you did to a lot of bosses. Surprising, isn't it? Running pretty low on Estus. I don't. I don't think I like that. Shit. What? Why would you do that? I didn't even have. Oh my god. My rhythm's broken now. I'm fucked. Yep. <sighs> Update. You're back. Bought a green N64 just like the one you had when you were a kid. That's... That's fantastic news, Butterscotch. That was a good system. Lots of good memories there. Also picked up Pokemon Snap and Mario Kart 64 from the guy. Nice. Very nice. So, uh... <clears throat> update Butterscotch. I did a poll. We decided not to do Four Kings Armor of Thorns only. We, uh, we changed up our strat. Decided to summon Beatrice. But it turned out Beatrice was less than useless. So I went and got a Black Knight Sword and killed them that way. So sadly this run is now Armor of Thorns only. What the fuck? Fuck this, I'm out. Sadly this fight is now arm this run is now Armor of Thorns only minus four kings, but Don't worry, we will be killing Gwyn Armor of Thorns only. And we killed all the other bosses up to this point that way as well. Still have your original N64 with Super Smash Bros? Dude, I still have my original N64 with Super Mario 64. The game that came packaged with it. And I also still have my Super Nintendo. With Super Mario World. 
I need to fucking stop that shit. Oh, fucking just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. If you can, you piece of shit. There we go. Except the Super Nintendo sadly died. That is terrible. I'm sorry for your loss. Had the original NES? I've never had the original NES. I've played a lot of the games via Virtual Console, but I never owned the system itself. Remember your dad got you a green N64 from a flea market and came with Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Mario Party 2, and Pokemon Snap. Nice. Very nice. I got my N64, I think it was Christmas Day 1996. Yeah, Koops, that's pretty rough. <clears throat> I remember when I was younger, you know, right around the time I was 18 or so. Like, I still had a lot of stuff from when I was a kid, like my old Transformers toys and video games and stuff like that. And a friend of mine at the time made fun of me for all that stuff, you know, said that was the reason why I was single and all kinds of bullshit. So sadly, I wound up selling most of the Transformers, because I let him get in my head. Still have all the video games, though. I promised myself years later when I realized how shitty that was that... I would never let anyone tell me that again. Friend sounds like a sack of shit, hence why I said friend at the time. I mean, it's not so bad now because... Who the fuck doesn't play video games now, know what I mean? You have to remember, this was back in, like, 2006, 2007. This was before the Big Bang Theory. This was before Marvel. This was before nerd culture became mainstream. Funny how times change, I know, right? Enjoy Big Bang Theory, but the tropes in that are seriously exaggerated. They really are. There's a lot of it that makes me cringe, but... Some of it is just too fucking accurate. Especially since, you know, I am in college studying physics. Thank you, stored input, for letting me parry that. Oh, that show's finally ending? That's surprising. Are you a bad person if you delete the old save file on Pokemon Snap? I would say no. I mean, it's yours now. Season 12 is the last one, officially. Want to play through, but whoever had it before you beat the game? and play through.
Delete that shit. I wonder what's going through Gwyn's mind. Like, ain't no way he gonna fucking parry me this time. Aw, oh, shit. The fact you can just parry the last boss is kind of sad. The fact that you can just parry the last boss is amazing. It fits thematically. The fact that... Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, is a shell of his former self. Besides, you can parry Garman. And depending on how you play Bloodborne, he could be your last boss. And you should be able to parry Cinder, considering his face, too, is just... Just Gwyn. And Nishandra? Well, we don't talk about Dark Souls 2 in here. By the way, if you want to know when I'm going to be playing Dark Souls 2, type exclamation point DS2 in chat. Soul of Cinder cannot be parried. He should be able to be parried, considering his phase two is literally Gwyn. But no. Soul of Cinder gave you so much rage. Soul of Cinder's rough. Mostly because he reminds me of PvP. I hate PvP. Same with Garman. And I haven't played DS2 again. Except when you force me to for five minutes as a charity modifier. It was a total of six minutes. You did one minute and then as soon as the minute was up, you you made me do it for five more. Piece of shit. Shit. Sorry guys, this is taking a little bit more concentration than the other bosses, because there's never a moment with Gwyn where you're safe. 
uninstalled Dark Souls 2. We'll probably forget why you hated it about eight months and try playing it again, only to remember why you hated it. Yeah, I did that a couple times. Dad does that once a year with White Castle. <laughs> yep. Gwen, knock it the fuck off. It's there to remind himself why he doesn't. <laughs> I do the same thing. I'll socialize once a year to remind myself why I don't. I'll ask a girl out once a year to remind myself why I don't. Is this worse than fist only? Depends. Tumble buff? If that's allowed, then no, this is not worse than fist only. If it's not allowed, then fist only, it, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up my words. If tumble buff is allowed, then this is worse. If tumble buff is not allowed, fist only is worse. This is just... I mean, this isn't bad, it's just... tedious. And time-consuming. But, I mean, if you don't like long, tedious boss fights... Why are you here? I mean, clearly all of you do, because here you are. Too real, Dan? I know. Maybe because they like quick boss fights done in near record time. <laughs> yeah, this is like... It's so weird, because I do speedruns of this game on Saturdays. This is like the anti-speedrun. Yeah, every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Speedrun Saturday here. Where I speedrun Dark Souls Remastered in the any percent, no wrong warp category. My current personal best is 1 hour, 7 minutes, 52 seconds. Which, if the folks over at speedrun.com verify the run, will be 7th in the world. Which I'm pretty proud of. But I also want to beat it. Because ultimately my goal is sub one hour. And the rest of the week we just do either variety or goofy meme shit like this. Bloop. Yoink. Slowest possible run. The slowest possible run is technically forever. Because you could run around in the Asylum Demon fight and just never take damage. Hell, you could technically just. You could technically just stay in your cell in the Asylum forever and never leave. That was weird.
Is it even possible? Which part? To just stay in your cell and never leave? Sure. You just leave your computer running with the game going and you just leave yourself there. Slowest possible run. As long as the power doesn't go out. And if you have a generator, technically even if the power does go out. Games Journalist writes a review of Dark Souls. Thinking it's some indie game as a commentary. On solitary confinement because he can't get out of the cell. <laughs> Someone tells him, like, the key's right there. Keys don't glow and hover. What the fuck are you doing, Gwyn? brain kind of short-circuited there for a second. I was like, what button I press? In the distance, I can see other prisoners having left their cells, still held captive by their lack of agency. Shit, should have healed there. Honestly, makes you want an Onion Games journalism branch for exactly this kind of thing. That would be amazing. I think things like that exist, but they aren't the Onion. Hey, Murloc. Thank you for the host, my friend. You remember when I started this run? Yeah, it was like three weeks ago. And then we stopped for a while, because Horizon Zero Dawn happened. Thank you for shouting out, Murloc. Sadly, Murloc, this did not wind up being an Armor of Thorns only run. Fuck. It wound up being... Armor of Thorns only, minus four kings. Because that just was not going to be reasonable. Gwyn is close. Everybody coming over from Murloc's stream, hello. My name is McDan. I am a Soulsborne challenge and speedrunner with a serious variety habit. Caught me in the middle of an Armor of Thorns only run. Well, Armor of Thorns only minus four kings. And I shouldn't say the middle because technically this is the end of it. Hopefully it is anyway. Moonlight butter. Well, we did Moonlight Butterfly, Armor of Thorns only. But we had Beatrice with us, because the strategy for Four Kings for a little bit was... ...to bring Beatrice in with us. But then Beatrice turned out to be less than useless. But every boss except Moonlight Butterfly... ...and... ...Four Kings... ...we killed alone, Armor of Thorns only. 
including Gwyn. Sevy Queen, GG, thank you. Almost first try. <laughs> All right, that's Armor of Thorns only, minus four kings. Almost Armor of Thorns only. What am I gonna do with my life now? Thorns is done. Well. I'm going to keep grinding away at the speedruns, trying to get sub one hour. Let the true dark be cast upon the world. Our Lord returns. And my next variety game is going to be... Super Mario RPG. So, those things. <laughs> <laughs> 